Hey scientists, grab those lab coats and goggles as today we get to show what we know about adaptations. Let's get into it with our essential questions. Now let's talk about our essential question. Remember, essential questions in science and in different lessons can help us think about what we already know about a topic and it helps us connect to new ideas that we're going to learn today to help us produce a new, produce a new thought about the topic. Our essential questions will be focused on our different science topic, topics. So look for keywords. In those keywords, the minute you see them and recognize them, I want you to think, what do I already know about this topic? Once you have that in your mind, you want to look at the question again to see what we're trying to answer today or what are we trying to answer about that topic. It's important to remember that an essential question is like a goal as well. By the end of our science lesson, you should confidently be able to answer the essential question. Let's go over our essential question for today. Pause the video and read the essential question now. For our warm-up activity today, we are going to be playing What in the World Is It? For this activity, one of you is going to be given a paper bag with a plastic animal on it. Your goal is to describe the animal to your classmates so that they can guess what kind of animal it is. Make sure if you're the one with your hand inside the bag, you don't give away by saying the animal's name, but describe different features about it. Like it has four legs, it has a tail, it has a long snout. All of these are good examples. Once one of your classmates raises their hand and guesses correctly, you'll switch off and they'll get a chance at the bag and you'll become a guesser. After you play this for a few rounds, come back and I'll explain the next activity we're going to do before our final adaptations assessment. The activity is called Claim Evidence Reasoning and it's on STEM scopes. When you guys complete this activity, you'll be given a scenario. That means you'll be given a situation to read about first that relates to the science topic that we're talking about. Then you'll be given a prompt. A prompt is kind of like a question or something that makes you think about what is going on in the scenario. With the prompt, you guys will have to provide a claim, evidence, and reasoning. Three, three categories can be broken down simply as this. Your claim is a simple one-sentence statement about the prompt that is given. After you have the claim, then you have to provide evidence. That's going to be your facts. Evidence can come from different activities that you've done in the past, different labs that you've used, or different conversations that you've had at a class. But the evidence needs to be facts. After you have your evidence and your claim, you're going to combine the two in your reasoning. In your reasoning, you're going to basically restate your claim in a full sentence and provide your evidence to back it up. Your reasoning should include information that was provided to you, and it should break down not only your evidence, but how it then backs up your claim. How do the two relate to each other? I'm going to turn it over to you guys as you read the scenario and come up with a claim as, claim as a class, and then you'll break down into smaller groups to gather your evidence and write your reasoning statement. Good luck, scientists, and I'll see you guys soon.